what uh, God uh, uh, opened for us whilst the looking back when we were doing the giving, helping out. We were also giving in church, uh, but the giving was not, uh, I would say now, it was um, something that we did out of, uh, it was like a duty, amen? But, um, and then today, I'm just uh, reminded of uh, a scripture that uh, there's a secret in it, which, uh, uh, which I, I read and uh, I took it uh, to heart, amen? Uh, in Second Corinthians 9, uh, 6 and 7, Verse 6, it says, remember, whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly. And whoever sows generously will also reap generously. Verse 7 says, each of you should give what you have decided in your heart to give. Not reluctantly or under compulsion. For God loves a cheerful giver. Amen. That's my take. Amen. Uh, you have to have uh, a good and a cheerful heart, amen? Uh, uh, like, uh, like I said, the scripture says, not reluctantly or, you know, under compulsion. Most of us, when uh, it's when it, uh, time to give, uh, you will be, um, uh, maybe thoughts will be coming to you, like double-minded, whether should I give? Okay, uh, what if I give? What will I have? But according to the word of God, in Luke 6, 38, give and it shall be given to you. A good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over, it will be poured onto your lap. So the giving is, you only give, but the coming back, according to his word, it's poured. Amen? Amen. And um, I took that and uh, I, I just wanted uh, like to share a few, um, uh, few things that I... Uh, took to heart or I decided within me no one told me or I wasn't uh, convinced from uh, any other source but uh, my own uh, self uh, I did in giving amen it was back in uh, 2012 if uh, uh, I can remember well uh, three three ladies in church we decided to um, to uh, to give towards uh, uh, he was turning 50 that year and then uh, uh, what we uh, what we did we had to look for a place to uh, to hold uh, uh, the Gaselebu's um, uh, birthday I I joined the church in we joined the church in 2008 and like I said through the years what I've learned and I put into practice and I believe that was the first one that I it was by faith because uh, why I'm saying this is um, you don't have the money. I mean, uh, for uh, uh, for us, what we normally do when you want to do a, a, a function, if I can do a function, so let me do a can elabo menda na menda na taka taka kin amen ye. Onge ba bili bila kataka na kalo. At that uh, that year, uh, we just talked three ladies, and I must thank the Lord just. Uh, Today I was uh, just sitting and thinking. These two ladies, one is uh, in the States, she's in America, and I believe yeah. she would be listening, Auntie, uh, Auntie Noah. And the second lady, she will be leaving soon too to join uh, Auntie Eleanor in America. And uh, here I am in New Zealand. And uh, you know, just thinking back then, it just uh, confirmed to me, this is actually power of giving. Yeah. Because at that time, no one was saying anything. And uh, you know, we went around. We actually uh, went and um, and uh, booked the um, uh, the Novotel, the the biggest uh, the biggest uh, uh, venue a meeting uh, place uh, at the Novotel. Uh, only the company can booking, and when the amount was given, they saw me when I am. They the bucket of na na songo. Saying, with what you have sent me, don't like to Sana Bego, Sana Yalole, Sana, you could send me a Vienna Catamora Kauki and Dona Cassa in the Tostal. But uh, you know, I was so thankful to God, and, and you have the right people with you because we were speaking the same language. Mm -hmm. And that's one thing, uh, you know, to us uh, in church, we can the Tipo Lama, Livona Mona, can the Sona Kaya Doma, Livona Kaya Doma, Kaya Bama Mulumutaka, Mumbula, and the Vesotica. But uh, I, I've seen it. Uh, so more than a son of boss and don't view, say son of a cellar, but that doesn't necessarily put the tenny maybe out.